Uh, my name is Liz McCauley, and right now I'm going to be showing you how to autoclave um, surgery packs. So first of all, you want to put on some protective equipment. Put on a lab coat, and some protective eyewear, uh, such as lab goggles, and then some insulated gloves. And these will protect you from getting burned. So once you have your protective equipment on, you want to open the autoclave here and make sure that there's nothing left inside. Take out any prior autoclaved items and grab your packs to be sterilized. Place them inside. And you want the packs to fit in there loosely. You don't want to be jamming packs in there because then they won't be properly sterilized. Then you want to close the door and set the timer here to uh, at least 15 minutes and at least a degree, um, at least a temperature of 250 degrees or above. And then wait 15 minutes. Usually there will be a sound to indicate that the pack is done um, sterilizing. And while the autoclave is in operation, you never want to try to open the door because that can cause you some severe burns. So the student ensures that the cycle has completed and both temperature and pressure have returned to a safe range. All right, so once you hear that your pack is done sterilizing, uh, make sure that the temperature gauge indicates that it's safe um, for you to open. And you just want to open the autoclave and let the door open just one inch or less um, to let some of that steam escape um, and to prevent you any injury. The student allows the autoclave blow to stand for 10 minutes in the chamber. All right, so once you've waited 10 minutes after propping the door open and letting the steam escape, um, you can open the door. Remove the items and check that the autoclave indicators have been activated. So carefully remove the items, making sure you don't touch the autoclave with your arms, and make sure the indicator strips on the outside of the packs have turned um, black or brown normally. Student places items in an area which clearly indicates they are hot. So you would have a sign that would say this tray is hot so that no buddy would come and um, touch the packs without gloves. Student shuts auto play door. What if the indicator did not say it was done? You would have to read auto play. Okay. 